Hey, I'm back. And recently I had someone come up to me and they told me um, that I'm doing keto, but it's not working. Okay, so uh, I've done a lot of videos on this, but I want to do something uniquely to this person who came up to me. Hold on one second. Let me just. Yeah. Okay, one, one second. I think he's busy. Let me take over. Okay. So when someone's trying to lose weight, there are various indicators that you're going to look at to know it's working or not. So the first thing that we, my brother and I, wanted to find out was if she was doing it correctly, okay? So we wanted to ask her several questions. Now, out of all these indicators right here, there are three things that are going to be improved initially if you're doing keto correctly. Your energy is going to go up, okay? Your cravings are going to go away. And you're not going to be hungry. And this one is like really key. So what we asked this person, do you have any fatigue? She goes, yes, I'm tired, especially after I eat. Do you have any cravings? Oh my gosh, do I have cravings? And then we asked her, can you go a long time without being hungry? And she goes, no, I cannot. I get hungry so often. So we really know she's not doing it correctly, okay? Now there's some real common mistakes that a lot of people make when they're not getting results and simply because they don't really know how to do it correctly. And they're usually doing some fruit. They're eating when they're not even hungry, okay? So you never wanna eat unless you're hungry. Very, very important. You don't wanna eat any fruit because both of these right here will cause a drop in blood sugars and then you're gonna want food an hour later. So you'll never ever get into ketosis. Um, snacking is deadly, okay? She was snacking. She was doing lean protein. I'm like, who told you you should do lean protein instead of fatty protein? So I basically told her, you need to get my book and read the chapter where I talk about what to eat. The reason why you want to do more fat is to be able to go longer in your intermittent fasting. Okay, greens, vital. She didn't like vegetables. So I, I found out what vegetables she does like. She likes bell peppers. I said, eat a lot of them. Very important to improve insulin resistance because you want to spike your potassium and magnesium. And then apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon in water with some lemon with the meal. That's going to help her. Okay. And then I just, I got a piece of paper and I just drew on a paper, this circle right here, like a plate, just to show her the simplicity of how easy this is. Half the plate should be carbs, vegetable carbohydrates, leafy greens. Okay. Salad. A fourth should be protein and the last should be fat. Usually these things are together just to keep it really simple for her so she can con conceive that, but she needed, needs to add more fat. Okay, you need to eliminate fruit and never eat unless she is hungry. Okay, add more greens and then give it a little bit of time. So healthy ketosis is a combination of getting your macronutrients correct, protein, carbs, and fats. We want to keep our carbs 20 to 50 grams, keeping our protein three to six ounces and having the fat basically 70% of the total calories. But if we're talking about volume, it's really only a quarter of the plate, if that. It's not that much. Okay, that's your macros. But healthy ketosis is also getting your micros, your micronutrients in the macros. So we want to increase the quality of food. So salmon, wild-caught salmon, pasture-raised organic eggs, very important. If you're going to do cheese, make sure it's organic cheese. If you're going to do cream, make sure it's organic cream, not commercial. If you're going to do meats, make sure it's like wild caught or organic, uh, not just processed meat. Okay. So we want higher quality of food. Uh, if you're doing a salad, don't do iceberg lettuce, do kale or some really healthy leafy greens that are organic. So combining these two will give you healthy ketosis and this will help minimize any type of transitional symptoms that you might have happened. And as far as these other benefits with the skin, with weight loss, with cognitive improvements, with your focus, your memory, your attention, and decreasing inflammation, your overall mood, these things will come with time, but only if you do it correctly and do it healthily. All right, guys. So see you later. Yeah, well, this, this all the EMF is kind of irritating me. So I got to keep this away from my skull. Electromagnetic frequency. Okay, I gotta go. I'm doing a video.
All right. See you later. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. See you later. Okay. Oh, you did it already? Great. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the next video.